A parasocial relationship is a relationship with a fictional character. Think about your parasocial relationships and think about people like Kim Kardashian. People are more friendly and intimate with her than their best friends. Intimacy, that there's a craving for intimacy. There's a craving for behind the scenes and people want that all the time. The idea of what a parasocial relationship is and how your events have to become parasocial relationships. Every year, we want you to come and we want you to have the best damn time ever. And you want to tell your friends and you want to really know about how important it is for the industry because this is the community. This is where you build your intellectual capital. So the idea is things like Comic-Con. People have created a parasocial relationship with Con. People create a parasocial relationship with brands. So if you serve a certain spirit, a certain thing, you want to piggyback on the, the benefit of the parasocial relationship that people have with that brand. So the choices you have in your vendors, people want their vendors to be famous. That is a parasocial relationship. They want their people to be famous because they want to have this intimate relationship with someone they think is important, whatever for good or bad. I told all my friends in Washington before Trump won that the world is changing and that Trump is the perfect example of the parasocial relationship. Eight, nine million people knew him intimately. Eight or nine million people he talked to on a regular basis. He'd have these events, these big rallies, where he'd give everybody a hat and he would talk to them like they were their best friend. With Trump, he could be your asshole friend, but he's still your friend. And how many of us know those same type of people that we're still friends with? So you create this intimate relationship. So it's interesting. It's as interesting for knowing the event or industry. So you think about what are your parasocial relationships? I'm going to tell you some of mine. Okay, I'm a total Apple freak. We have a 24-hour Apple store, and I buy stuff. I buy everything. I watch TED. How many people watch TED? Half the time, I think I'm smarter because I watch TED. And I can bring it up at a cocktail party. And oh my God, did you see that guy? I had, have had a house in Maine for many years. So anyone says Maine, I get all goosebumpy. But then negatively, and this is, it relates to events, I grew up in Washington, D.C. And we had a baseball team called the Washington Centers when I was 10 years old, left Washington to go somewhere else. And I have never watched baseball since because the parasocial relationship works in both ways. So it could be fan base, it could be a destination, it could be a venue, it could be anything. So